So we're going to do a low poly wood crate in about a minute. Uh, we're going to start with a box and it's set to cube. I'm going to drag that out. We need then to make sure the pivot is centered. So I'm going to say effect pivot only, centered object, and then over to the tools panel, reset X form, reset selected, and we'll collapse it down to an edible poly. Into the polygon mode, which is four on the keyboard, we're going to pick all of the back pieces and only keep the front face. With that front face, we're going to right click and use inset, or you can use the shift um, scale tool. And this is going to be the size of the pieces of wood around the sides. I'm then going to go and do Alt C for the cut tool, and we're going to cut from corner to corner. Over to two on the keyboard to get into edge mode, and we're going to go Control Shift C for the chamfer, and I'm going to chamfer it out and leave that chamfered like that. Uh, back to the polygon mode, pick both these polygons, and I'm just going to shift drag them back in to give the thickness to the piece of woods on the sides. So now we can get out of the polygon mode with uh, four on the keyboard, and we're going to add a symmetry modifier. We're going to symmetry it back just in Z, or sorry, Y, and we're going to flip, um, flip it so that we see the front and back. Uh, now we can't get the top and sides using something like the symmetry tool or the array tool directly. So we need the symmetry tool here, then the array tool, so the array modifier. And we're going to uh, put that array modifier onto radial. Uh, we're going to set it to three because we need the original and we need the sides and the top bottom. So there we go. We're going to set the rotation to progressive and we're going to set it around. I think it's 90, 180 and 30 degrees. And we have it all set up. And then all we need to do is add a vertex weld modifier to weld the corners together so that it's all welded. And then we can add a smooth modifier, if you like, to be able to smooth it out. Um, if you want to, you know, auto smooth to 30 degrees or so. Um, another thing we could do is we could chamfer it. And in chamfering it, if we wanted to knock the corners off just a little bit, and I'll take the segments down to zero, the problem now is everything's going to possibly end up looking a little bit soft. This is actually pretty good uh, because the chamfer amount is set at the right angle here. Uh, but if you wanted to chamfer it and round it, everything starts looking a little soft and not flat. To get around that, add a weighted normals modifier to the top of the stack, and you'll notice now it's all looking nice, neat, and clean. So if you wanted the rounded corners, or you didn't want the rounded corners, it's entirely up to you. Um, you know, you could do it either way uh, and have your, you know, uh, wood crate modeled within seconds.